Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well. Hanging in there. If you're an essential worker, thank you so much. If you are someone like me that would like to be working, but your employment was all canceled, um, hang in there. It's going to be okay somehow. And everybody stay safe and stay healthy. This morning, I just wanted to give a little tour of my Daegu's playpen because I'm doing a collab with Piggy Time pretty soon, talking about how Daegu's are sort of like squirrel guinea pigs. And it just reminded me that I'd never really showed you guys. Uh, well, they have a couple of um, play pens, but this is their main play pen and I had never really showed you guys a proper tour of it, so that is what I am going to do this morning. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy videos about animals, life, um, I do a lot of animal rescue and in particular fish care, uh, but these are my Daegu's and that's what I wanted to talk about this morning. The first thing I have in there, oh, first warning, this playpen they actually can climb out of. So it is for supervised playtime. It's not like you can just put them in this playpen and go. Um, there may be some kind of playpens you can do that with Daegu's. I have not found one. They are escape artists. Pretty much they have to have their um, out of cage time supervised. The first thing I have in here is a little bird ladder that kind of has some texture on it for their paws. It's also chewable, but I don't put it in their main cage because it does have um, molasses as an ingredient and Daegu's cannot have molasses. Um, but it and just whatever helps them into their little dig box, which is just a box I made and filled with torn up paper towels. And they love it. Whenever I release them in here, I also put out their treat mix, which is just dried herbs and seeds and uh, some oats. And so that me makes them explore the whole area. This is their little tube. They love to run through it, hide in it, play in it, run on top of it. I also have an additional wheel in here for them. And plenty of little chew toys like this. Um, they also really love paper towels, especially Minx sometimes just wants to like run around dragging the paper towels. So I have these paper towels in here. Um, they also like to do that with toilet paper, but I feel like with everything going on right now, giving my Daegu's toilet paper to play with would be like insulting to the people who can't get toilet paper right now. Hi, Boos. Hi. I have little things for them to push around in there. A lot of them are old baby toys. And they're not things that I would leave in the cage with them all the time. But for them to have their supervised playtime with, it's great. And I will, in just a second here, be going and filling this up with Timothy hay and some pellets, because then they'll dig and play around with that. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little tour. This is one of their main play pens, and uh, I just kind of... Most days, every once in a while, my poor babies do miss a day, but usually in the morning, I just come down here, have my coffee while I get ready for the day, and let them out in their playpen. Sometimes one of them wants to come up and snuggle on my shoulder instead. And they just have some fun forage and playtime. 
in an area that's different to them. It's really important to stimulate your small mammals. They need, um, you know, small animals are oftentimes very smart and they need to get bored. They, they can get bored and if they get bored, they actually can have some really bad habits develop which can lead to serious health issues. Love your pets and they will love you back. Stay safe. And uh, like and subscribe if you um, are a, a fan. <laughs> a fan of animals, vlogs, life in St. Louis, and fish, especially fish. Thank you.